everyone. Usually I say welcome to my sewing room, but as you can see, I'm not in my sewing room. I'm back at my friend Gail's house because she has the Luminaire sewing machine. And I wanted to talk a little bit, not only about the Luminaire sewing machine, but about the new upgrade to the Luminaire sewing machine. But I do have some good news for those of you who have a Stellaire sewing machine. And that is with the new update to the Stellaire sewing machine. You are able to do that connectivity part that I talked about in one of my previous videos where you can connect your sewing machine to your scanning cut and it adds an applique feature that's really wonderful. If you want to know more about it, go back to some of my previous videos. I did a table runner with the word summertime on it and I show you exactly how to use your scanning cut with your sewing machine. I did it on the Luminaire at that time, but now we can do it with our Solaire. And I'm really excited about that new feature. And by the way, thank you, Patty. She's one of my regular customers and she's the one who told me that we could do that with the Solaire. I didn't even know it. And I'm really excited about it. If you have not done the most recent update on your Solaire sewing machine, make sure that you do it because this is a great feature. So anyway, back to the Luminaire upgrade. There's a lot of really neat, neat things that are in this new upgrade, but one of my favorite things that are in it is that you can, if you have PE design software, you can go to your PE design software and you can copy the motifs and the fills onto a USB stick. You can put it in your sewing machine, go into design center, and when you create a circle shape or a square shape or an outline, you can apply those to those shapes. So now it's opened up a whole new world of different things that you can do in Design Center. And I thought you might really like to see how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. And in order to do that, we're going to have to move over to our computer. So I'm going to have to move the camera and make a few changes here. And while I'm doing that, um, if you like the, my videos and you watch them all the time, I'd like to ask you to go ahead and share them with your friends, tell your friends about them, and go ahead and push that subscribe and like button. Open up PE Design, and you don't necessarily have to open your software to do this, but I wanted to show you, um, if you don't know already, if I come over here to Shapes and I draw a square, I'm going to automatically get a, a regular fill and then a satin stitch or whatever I did last. If I come up here, I can click on this. And then I can change it to a decorative fill stitch if I want to put a decorative fill stitch, which is pretty much the same ones that are in your Luminaire sewing machine and in a lot of the Stellaire sewing machines as well. Um, if I come up here to the outline stitch and click on that, I can choose motif stitch and it'll put a motif stitch around there. And then if I move my mouse over here to the sewing attributes, and click on the motifs, you get a box full of motifs. And these are all the different outline stitches that are in the software that you can put around the outside of um, any shape that you draw. So it's kind of cool. I'm gonna put, put that one on there and it puts it on there. So um, we all know that in the design center, we can add motifs around the outside of a shape, but there's only probably what, five or six that you can choose from. So we wanna use all the ones that are in the uh, PE design software in the design center of our Luminaire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna X out of this. I'm not gonna save anything. Then I'm gonna come down here to my windows and right click and hit File Explorer. And once I hit File Explorer, I need to find all those motif stitches and they are they should be under your window C and then under program files 86. And then you're going to go into brother and PE design 11. And then you have a file inside of PE design 11. Let me see. That says pattern. See right here where it says pattern. I'm going to click on that, double click it. And all of these are different pattern stitches 
that we opened in the PE Design 11. And if you go keep going down, it starts saying motif stitches. So we have the pattern stitches and the motif stitches that are all in there. And I want to put them on a stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click these three dots up here at the top and say select all. And then I'm going to come over here to, let me see, right? That's copy right there. See the way it says copy? So I'm going to click on copy. And then I'm going to scroll down and find my USB stick. And I probably want to name it a file so I can find it once I put it in my sewing machine. So let's just do new folder. And in the new folder, let's call this, I'm just going to call it XP3. So I know that's my XP3 files. And push enter. And then I'm going to double click it. It says it's empty. But when I come up here to paste, I always let the mouse rest over it so paste comes up. I know I'm doing the right button. And it's going to, 215 items are going to copy from my PE Design 11 to my stick. Okay, so now I'm going to move the camera and we're going to go to the uh, Luminaire sewing machine. I'm going to show you how cool this is and how easy it is to do. Okay, so we're in front of the Luminaire sewing machine, and I have gone ahead and plugged in that USB stick that I copied all the design to, and as you can see, we are in Design Center. This is also one of the really great things that came with your XP3 upgrade. It's a great pen. If you choose the, the drawing pen, you will notice immediately that it's a lot easier to draw with this pen than it was with the other one. And I, one of the things, I'm going to hit the back button delete all my scribbles there. Okay, uh, one of the things I have noticed is if I come in here and I draw, let's just put a flower on there and hit size, make it a little bit smaller. I know I always put my hand in the way here. Let's move it up here, say okay, and hit duplicate. Okay, so I have two flowers here, and I want to make a quilting design on it, and I want them to continue. If I come up here so that I, I'm really close and I can see them, with this pen, I can get pretty darn close to the exact line I wanted to draw them on. It would help if I actually picked the drawing tool. Um, so I'm going to put it here, and I'm going to draw. And I, I can pretty much get it right where I've, if I was sitting in front of the sewing machine, you would be able to see that. Again, I do like a mouse because I can be very, very accurate with a mouse. But this pen is also really good. It's also really good with the erasing part of it. So I can erase really good with it. So there's, there's a lot of really nice things as you start to play with this, you're really going to like it. Okay, I'm going to delete all of that. So I want to show you what this um, new feature will do on here. So what, I'm going to go ahead and put the pin down. Um, I'm going to go into the shapes and let's just pick something pretty simple like this flower again. We're going to put it on there and then I'm going to duplicate it and move it so it's right on top and then let's size it and let's make the size bigger. So we have a couple of them on here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to push the um, out the pour on the outline and we're going to push this. So we're in the regular part where you do the different motifs. And these are the motifs that you were given with your luminaire. That are, they're kind of fun, but there's, they're limited. There's only 10 of them here. Now I can hit custom. That's a new button on there. I'm going to hit the pocket. And it's going to ask me, where am I taking this through? Remember we made the XP3 file? I'm going to hit the XP3 file. And now look at all of these motifs that are available to me to outline. I have an entre stitch. I have um, a candle wicking stitch. Look at this one. It looks like little um, bare feet, I guess. I don't know. They're feet, whatever they are. I'm going to say, okay. 
it's in this file it's going to stay in this file till i delete it so i don't have to always go back in the stick to get it i can put it on there so i'm gonna say okay and then i'm going to say okay again and i'm going to hit pour and i'm going to tap and it's going to fill that one so let's go back in there again hit select custom come in here to the xp3 file um i think there's one in here that's little boats so i'm gonna hit the boats and say okay and then okay let's make them purple and then i'm going to hit this one here so now when i hit next see i have the little boats oh i didn't do this one i guess i thought i did so let's hit return make sure you have pour chosen let's go into select okay make it green okay i heard it beep that time so i should have done it so let's hit, hit next and now i have those little paw prints around the outside and i have those little boats on the inside of that so let's go up to 400 percent look at that isn't that cute so you can do that that's really fun so i'm going to hit return and then i'm going to want to fill this flower up so first things first let's just make a running stitch on that inside flower and then for this part here we're coming down to the second floor because that's your fills so when i hit the fills there's the ones that are built in and if you have the upgrade you will notice that you have a whole lot more to choose from they've added all of these new ones in there which are really neat i really like this one right here um, i'm thinking about trying to do a new fill that will maybe do like a tack down stitch but I, i'm going to have to play around with it first before i can do that but we're going to go to custom go into the stick and in the xp3 files we have all of these different fills that are part of our pe design software and I don't know that I have it in here, but let's go back. This one is one I created. In PE Design, you can create your own fills. And I created this one. I'm going to say OK and then say OK again. And I'm going to make it blue. Say OK and make sure you have pour chosen. Now, this is my own created background quilt stitch fill that I've added onto this. So I'll hit next. and then let's just zoom in a little bit so you can see my little scissors that i created so if you're creative and you want to get an idea for a new kind of quilt fill you can do this and it is it's kind of fun it takes a little bit of um, in ingenuity but you can figure out your own kind of fills you can make it whatever size you want it to be so if i do 100 percent and make it smaller and say that i want it thinking about this for a minute say that i want it to be a thin one i don't want it to be a thick one and i'm going to set that down okay and now i've just done my own little fill in with my design center and my pe design software so i think that's really cool i'm going to have a lot of fun trying to learn some new things and hopefully i'll pass them on to you as i go along so i hope you really enjoyed that that was really a fun thing to do i'm going to try and explore a little bit more into some of the things the xp3 does um, and also some of the new things that you can do on your stellar sewing machine if you've got any questions something you'd like to see me do on one of the sewing machines please make a comment send me a message i always appreciate it when you like and subscribe and i'll see you next time Bye bye